you all to answer them. Hello, everybody. Hello, hello. Just wait for a couple more people to get in here, and we'll begin. We had some technical difficulties to start this morning. Let's see who else we can get in here. Hello, everybody. Please share this stream. We are on a different link. Hello, Triton. We are on a different link right now, so um, I did have to... I did have to um, change the, the, the stream because something wasn't working with like portrait lock or whatever. And it kept telling me stream in portrait mode, but I don't want to stream in portrait mode. I want to stream in landscape. And so there was a problem with that. So I was just like, you know what? We're going to restart this entire thing. And we are going to, we are going to change this. Thank you so much, Ryan. You are the best. Um, now, if I had a second phone on me, which I do have a second phone, I just didn't bring it with me, um, I would uh, post the link to the main channel. Can somebody do that for me? Whoever gets in here, can they just po can they post the link to the main channel so I could pin it to the top? Let's see, is it gonna let me even do that? It is not gonna let me pin the message. That's wonderful, okay. I haven't streamed in a while. This is gonna be, uh, I'm gonna go from like barely streaming to, uh, to streaming like every single day. This is gonna be very interesting. I can't wait to do this. But this is gonna be, this is gonna be so good guys. I'm so excited for this. Thank you so much, Triton. Hello, Christina, good morning, good morning, good morning. Now, the best part about these streams is that it is just gonna be a nice little chill. Nice little chill. We're not going anywhere. We're just going to a park, a bunch of parks. It's gonna be fun. It's gonna be very fun. Now, one thing, one thing about this park in particular, I've been here once. I've actually filmed a video here before, back before I started the Disney channels. Um, this park is not, I'm gonna be very honest with all of you. This park is not the safest to be at. This park is not, Look at this pigeon. New, uh, nothing classic about a New York pigeon, am I right? It makes up for the lack of squirrels that are at this park. So this park is not the safest to be at. Um, so it just we're gonna be we're gonna be cautious. We're gonna keep our eyes open, but we're gonna have some fun. That's the most important thing we're gonna do today. We're gonna have some fun. My dad is on standby. If anything were to happen, but we are gonna have some fun, but we are also gonna keep our eyes open. Because I'm not gonna lie to you, for our very first time streaming at a park in a while, this was a very interesting choice to come to first. A very interesting choice to come to first. So we're gonna head on in in a minute, but for right now we're just gonna walk on the outside, get a little feel for it. Um, but yeah, so, um, it's a very, I chose a very interesting park for the first one, but we are going to visit plenty of parks over the course of the summer, but I'm telling you right now, this is the one we will be at most. I'm telling you right now, this will be the easiest because there is not a lot of traffic to get here. It's a pretty far drive. It's farther than Astoria Park, the one we normally go to, but it is much easier to get to. The roads are quieter more scenic i enjoy i enjoy rolling down my window to get here that's the thing i enjoy about this park most um and so <clears throat> that's the benefit of coming to this park that technically it is much more scenic to get here as much as it's 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 it, i guess i don't really know this it's it's a this park is very small this park is probably not the safest to be at. Like you won't want to be at, you won't want to be here at night. That's that's for sure. I have filmed the video in here, right in here, before I um, started, before I started the main, before I started doing Disney videos. I filmed the like a like a little like life lesson skit over here with some friends, and it was about bullying and stuff like that and how it's not okay. Um, and we did that right over here. We did that right over here. Be 
before um, I started doing Disney videos. And um, it, it was a nice park to be at. But we were in, but a little behind, I don't know, does anybody even remember that video I did? Does anybody remember that little skit? Does anybody remember that skit I've been, I did? So, it was so long ago. It was like 2021, maybe even 2020. And it was like about bullying and there was a fight and then somebody dropped their phone and then there was a, and then, as a matter of fact, we filmed most of it over here. I was, I, I had a busy day that day because I needed, I needed to make the script. I needed to make the script, get the cameras ready, gather everybody here, meet me here, get pizza for my quote unquote cast, if you will, um, which were kind of just basically my friends, um, and film the entire thing all by myself. So it was a lot of work that day, but um, it was very nice. Um, and so the bullying portion was filmed over here and then we moved on in over here because we kept getting interrupted here. There were a couple wise guys that just kept on interrupting our shoot and we were like, okay, we cannot film like this. We're never going to get anything done. We're never going to get anything done. So we need to move. So we moved on over here. We moved on over here. I feel so weird holding a big, large camera in the middle of New York City. Just for the record, this feels very like awkward, <laughs> but I love doing it for you guys. I love that all of you are here with me this morning. Hello, Sean, hello, Troy and Christina. Thank you so much for being here, everybody. I kind of like appreciate it more than you know, um, because the, because I'm like the only one, I'm the only one that feels comfortable holding a large camera in the middle of New York City out of all places. And it's probably not the safest thing to do. I believe this is a school. I'm not sure. I don't... Then I haven't been here in a very, very, very long time. Look at the streets of New York City, guys. We're in the middle of a street. Look at us. Look at us. A middle, the middle of the street. The middle of a street. Only in New York City. Can, oh, car's coming. <laughs> car's coming. Can't be... We're not trying to make this... We're not trying to fail this stream. Cause that would, this series would end real quick. This series would end real quick. Uh, I would never stand in the middle of the street if cars were coming. You see, I'm, uh, I wouldn't, I wouldn't do that. You see, I would, I would look to see if there's like a quiet road or anything like that before I would ever think of doing that. And as soon as a car came, I got out of there. So we're safe. So, as I was saying, we um, we filmed that skit a while ago over here. I posted it around Thanksgiving of like 2021 or something like that. And then we kept on getting interrupted. So I needed to move. I needed to move. I couldn't. We're going to head on into the park in a little. Oh, yes. I caught, I caught a couple of different questions asking where are we exactly. So we are at Horace Greenlee Park. Um, this is, I do believe, a park attached to a school. I'm not sure <clears throat> what this school is like or really. But I do believe that I actually don't think this is I think this is like a test prep center. So this building, I do believe, is a test. This is Astoria. Um, we are about maybe 45 to 30 minutes away from Astoria Park than the park I normally go to. Um, this park is a little farther. <clears throat> and this park is a little bit farther than Astoria Park. It is easier for me to go stream at Astoria Park, but the only difference is between Astoria Park and this is that the roads are easier to get to. So as much as it's farther in distance, it may actually take a shorter amount of time to get here than Astoria Park because the roads are much quieter to get here. Um, I hopped on the road around maybe, I don't know, 8.20 this morning. When I came into the chat is when um, I... When we came into, when I um, came into the chat before the stream, is when I was on the road to get here, and obviously I made it here relative. Are we in Epcot? No, but I wish. But that brings me to my next topic. But let me just finish what I was saying about this. So, this is Horace Greenlee Park. This is a park. That's a test prep center right there. So that big orange, bil gray and orange. <clears throat> building is a test prep center where basically kids that are taking 
important tests like college tests, high school tests, maybe different. I don't even know what kind of tests exist right now. I know the test I take and that's it. Um, but this this building is like a test prep center where like there are volunteer teachers to help kids prep prepare for tests that they need to pass in order to get into a certain college or high school or whatnot. So that's where we are right now. This is Hor Horace Greeley Park in Astoria. Uh, not known for being the safest park, I'll give it that. Um, we're <laughs> but we take risks on this channel. Anyway, speaking of Disney World, <coughs> we uh, I wish we were at Epcot, Anthony. Um, but fear not, I will be at Epcot very, very, very soon. Very, very, very soon, I will be at Epcot. And I want to speak a little bit about that. So I'm doing, once I get to Disney World, I will be, I will be, um, is any park in, <laughs> amen, Triton. I will be doing something I've never done before in the Disney parks. Obviously, you know, I film a ton of Disney vlogs and I will be at Disney a lot this summer. I won't be doing too many streams, just two streams, but I will be doing plenty of vlogs, maybe 10 to 15 vlogs. Yeah, I'll be in Di <clears throat> In total, I'll probably be in Disney around 15, 20 days this summer. So this means if I film more video, two videos every single day, boy, do we have an abundance. Boy, do we have an abundance. So I'm doing something different. It won't be drinking around the world because then, <laughs> but, it won't be drinking around the world just yet, but it will be me letting my viewers decide what I do <clears throat> during my Epcot day. My viewers will get to decide what I do during my Epcot day. I'm going to be at Epcot the day after July 4th, so Independence Day, and then I will be at Epcot July 5th, and I'm going to let my viewers decide what I do. And how am I going to do that if it's not a live stream? Well, if you go, if you leave this stream right now, or you keep it open, whichever one, and you go to the community tabs, the community posts I've posted, the community posts I've posted um, on this channel, you will see that I have a bunch of questions. I think it's seven questions I have. And I have seven questions and I want you all to answer them. I want you to tell me what I, I should do. So some of the questions that I asked, I was like, give me a ride, give me a snack, give me a character, give me something to take a picture with. Those are the regular ones. But then I also, then I also have a couple questions, a couple questions that are very unique. Like give me a dance to do in the middle of an Epcot pavilion, or give me a, give me a pavilion I cannot enter because the World Showcase, the World Showcase is a, um, it's very hot by the way. This is very hot and I'm not enjoying, I'm enjoying this, but I'm not enjoying the weather currently. So, so uh, yeah, as I was just saying, so, I'm trying to see, and so I gave a bunch of multiple choice options, <clears throat> and I want you all to do me a favor and pick one. If you guys could go over, anybody, go over to the community posts and give me and answer some of the answer some of the posts and questions I posted. That would be wonderful, and then you guys basically get to tell me what I do during my Epcot day. I think that's kind of cool. And I will do whatever you guys tell me. <clears throat> whatever you guys tell me to do, I shall do it. Like right now, I know some of the polls that are winning are, I know Donald Duck meet and greet is winning. I know that's the character I'm probably gonna end up meeting. Uh, right now, Cosmic Rewind is winning so that's probably the ride I'm gonna end up doing and one of my favorite things that I added was a pavilion I cannot enter because the world showcase it's a circle 
Therefore, like, for example, let's say Morocco is right here and the pavilion, right, and I need to get to the pavilion I, right next to Morocco. Let's say I need to get to the pavilion right next to Morocco. But I cannot enter the Morocco pavilion. I need to go all the way around to get to it. And that's part of the fun challenge I'm doing. So I would love if each of you could go over and let me know what you want me to do during my Epcot day. Four likes, four people watching. Thank you so much, everybody, for being here. Um, is everything? Is the stream looking good? Is it lagging or anything? Because I'm also aware that this park doesn't probably have the greatest signal because I, we are surrounded by trees. So please let me know. Is there an okay signal? Is there an okay signal over here? And... I hope you all are enjoying the first day of this. I'm having a great time out here. I hope all of you are enjoying watching. Um, we're gonna be doing this every single day. In case you're wondering when the next one of these will be. Tomorrow, tomorrow, same time, most likely same place. I haven't, I need to ask my parents which one we're going to tomorrow because they have a say too. Because one's working, one's not. I, it really is just... Let's, let's go this way. So, it really is a matter of that. So, I hope you all are enjoying this stream. Is the chat feature working? Is the chat feature working okay? Because I can't see. Wait, hold on. We're having some technical difficulties over here. Give me a minute. So yeah, this is the playground area. We're gonna actually head upstairs to the to the track and basketball court area. That's what we're gonna head up to. The tennis courts and all that stuff. It's not a very large park. It's not a very large park. Not a very big park, but it shall do. Because my goal, my goal for, let's sit down for a second. Let me set you up on the table. My goal for this series is to not necessarily bombard you with New York content. Actually, I would love to do that. But it is mostly for us to go out and stream more. Go out and, because... I realize that I have the ability to stream. I live in a very touristy city, yet I don't really take full advantage of that. I'm just, I, so my goal is to kind of just bring you guys anywhere, really. Anywhere in New York City. Could be here, could be my house, could be Times Square, actually, although I wouldn't feel that safe filming in Times Square, to be honest with you. I really didn't, wouldn't know how to feel about that. But we will see this summer is full of endless opportunities. Endless opportunities. Here is the center that I probably will never use. Adult fitness, right here, la la. Actually, Sean, I saw you did your first race. Congratulations, I'm so proud. Um, you did amazing. I was watching, I was, I was pretty busy that day. You did that stream, but I was watching it secretly, like not chatting. I was very, very proud. Because not a lot of not a lot can do that. I because I know that um, because I played soccer. I still kind of play, not as much, but I still play. That those those running, that running, those cardio days, the days that our coach was mad at us and had us just run. Those were not easy days. Not easy days. So congratulations to Sean. Congratulations. Let me refresh this chat. Oh my goodness, I'm missing all this chat. I needed to re- Oh my goodness, I'm so sorry. Oh my goodness, I'm a lot. You see, this is why I don't stream. That's why I don't stream. I realized that I didn't refresh the chat. You see, because when I, w when I said that I can't see chat is because I wasn't seeing any messages. 
I didn't realize that I was missing all this. So let me catch up on this. Is any park in New York City really safe? Absolutely not. Um, a, wa a waffling. Yes, Triton, if, you, if uh, I believe... One of the questions I did ask is pick a snack I need to get. And I think the snacks are a Joffrey's donut, uh, a, ca a caramel from Caramel Cuche. Um, what else did I have on there? I had school bread. Which, love me some Joffrey's Donut, by the way. Love me a good Joffrey's. Is it on the main channel or this channel? This channel. I'm so sorry I was missing all these messages, guys. I really am. Please forgive me. Um, your messages were not being ignored. I just didn't see them. I'm an idiot. <laughs> Only this could happen to me. Is it? Is it on... Imagine, like, a big streamer having this happen to them. <laughs> I was not ignoring messages. I promise. I didn't see them. So, Christina, if you exit this stream and you go to my community section and you scroll all the way down, uh, well, not all the way down, but pretty far down, you will see the questions. And we would love to get your opinion on what we should do on our Epcot day. And it will be in a vlog. And so I'll probably post that vlog as soon as I really I plan on filming it, heading back to my resort, editing it, and hopefully it going next Saturday. So I would hope to do that. Yep, all good. Perfect. I vote your dad smash a Mickey waffle with rib cream in your face in the middle of the Imagination Pavilion. It's a very, very interesting request. Very interesting, unique request. And we shall see if it could happen. We shall, we shall see if it could happen. We'll have a nice conversation with my dad about that one. And we will see if we can make it happen. Thanks, tough one, but another one July 20th. Congratulations, Sean. It's a lot of hard work and dedication. Very proud. It's amazing. You see, there's a tra this is a track, I believe. Imagine we go for a run. Like, you see, like, I'm, I am currently wearing slippers right now. I have Crocs on. But let's see how we can run. <clears throat> let's see how we could run in Crocs. We're doing it, guys. We're running. I do believe I'm still pretty conditioned. Quick timeout. Let me just fix this gimbal if I want to run. Let me just fix this gimbal really quick then. Because if I want to run, I got to fix it. All right, here we go. All right, we're good. Let's do this, guys. Whoops, sorry about that. So it is actively hard to reach at at the moment. Because it's hard to read it while I'm running, but only on my streams can can we do this. This is it's very interesting. I'm, I'm a very interesting type of streamer here, but it's okay. What unique uniqueness is best. This gimbal needs to be fixed. Hold on. Hang on. Hang on. There we go. All right, should be good now. There we go. Many hidden gems in New York. This park is great. I mean, I'm not gonna lie to you, this is probably not one you're gonna take your entire family to. Because it is, I'll be very frank, it isn't the safest. I'll say that, I said that once, I'll say it again. There are some many safer parks. As Triton mentioned before, as Triton mentioned before, there are, no park in New York City is really that safe. But this one is like, this one is up there. This one is like very up there. There have been like pretty bad things happen here and I'm just, just keep that in mind but it's okay the benefit of coming here in the morning is that not many bad things are happening at nine o'clock in the morning John V says morning Max have you ever been to the clo cloisters I've never what can you explain what's a little murder on a live stream oh my goodness 
Oh my goodness. You know, thankfully nothing that bad has happened here. Thankfully nothing that bad has happened. Probably kind of just fights. Really fights and stuff like that. Maybe something you don't want to... It's, it's more like stuff you just don't want to be around, really. We'll do a couple more laps and we'll see how we're feeling. Because it is hard to be running in Crocs. But we're doing... Wow. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Okay. Wow. Ladies and gentlemen, WW Max for you. Woo! Almost attacked by a dog. <laughs> oh my goodness. Look at this, guys. He has no control over the dogs. Look at this. Look at this. Oh my god. Oh my goodness. Guys. <laughs> oh my goodness. What the hell just happened? We were just nearly attacked by a dog on stream. Quality content here. Only on this channel can you find stuff like this. What just happened? Next on WW Max when the squirrels attack. Oh, well, we got dogs attacking us now. Jesus Christ. CLO. CLO made it just in time to see me almost get attacked by two dogs. The uh, I don't know what happened. Like, so the, the dogs came upstairs and they. <laughs> the dogs came upstairs and listen. I love dogs. My aunt has a dog. I I dog sit her every summer. I dog sit every summer. In fact, we might have, we might be doing some of these streams with a dog in our hands. So one hand on the gimbal, one hand with the dog. But that's later in August when she goes on vacation. I love dogs, but. Not when they like viciously, when, like I was literally ganged up on. <laughs> I was literally ganged up on by two dogs. The owner came, the, the owner came running upstairs and was like, no, 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 it's okay, it's okay, they're friendly. He tries to go grab one, he, he runs away, then the other one runs away, then they're interrupting the tennis matches. Oh my goodness. Whew. I thought it was gonna be, I thought this stream was gonna take a quick turn there. What's up, CLO? How are you? Great to see you, CLO. You did say this park, the dogs were trying to mug you only in New York City. Really, like, what did they want? I don't have money on me. <laughs> uh, Cloyster is a park in Upper Manhattan that has a castle with a collect. Oh my goodness, we are so gonna go there. Just please, let me court. It's our only our first stream. We have like 12 weeks of summer left. We have like. What's 12 times seven? That's how many streams we have left. 12 times seven. I, I'm so gonna need to go home and clip that and I'm gonna post it as a video. Just me getting attacked by dogs. Oh my God. So John V, thank you so much for, thank you so much for telling me about that. I'm definitely gonna be going there and we're definitely gonna bring the stream with us there. In fact, that's actually a cool main channel vlog too. Because as much as I stick to Disney videos, that's a really cool. That's a really cool main main channel video. I guess our run was cut short. <laughs> we stopped running once the dogs attacked us. Well, that was very interesting. What time is it? We'll probably stay here for another half hour, maybe. Another 20 minutes. The streams are not going to be long, but they're going to be... Oh, really, we're going... We're not... We're going quality and quantity here. But we're not going lengthy. So they're going to be quality, but they're not going to be lengthy. Like, for example, quality content. Max nearly gets attacked by dogs. That's... And that's... All, this is only the first broadcast. Broadcast number one. Can you imagine if on the first stream we get attacked by dogs... What's gonna happen next? Don't forget the Brooklyn Botanical Gardens. What I'm gonna do is I am going to put out another set of community posts. And I'm gonna basically allow the comments to be open. And you're gonna tell me everywhere you wanna go this summer. Everywhere you wanna go this summer. It's gonna be, it is gonna be difficult because a lot of streams are going to be premieres that are
replayed because I'll be in the parks a lot. So really, if you start noticing, it, really, when I'm in Disney and not, it's going to be a dead giveaway because you're going to notice that for an entire week, week and a half, nearly two weeks, there's going to be only replays. And that's when you're going to know, oh, he's in Disney. He's in Disney. And then on top of that, we'll have the Disney streams, which will be two Disney streams and a solid like 15, 20 vlogs. And I can't wait to start filming those. We have a ton of fun planned. And I really do hope that whether later on or before the stream or after the stream, you all could uh, go over to the community post and vote on what you want to see me do. I do think I'll be going to the Bronx Zoo one of these streams. I don't know for sure. But, but the thing with aquariums is they lag too much. They lag a little bit too much. So it'll be hard to do that because I have attempted to like do something with the camera in an aquarium and they told me to shut it off and there's lag in there anyway. So I don't, so, but the zoos for sure. The zoos will definitely be good. It's such a quiet day over here right now. <clears throat> Very nice out over here. Let's go into the, the, the handball courts where we filmed the second half of the video. Look at this nasty. That is a squished ketchup packet. That is like disgusting. I don't know, I get like very like germophobic. Ger like germ, I, I, when I see germs, it's just like, ugh. Like a, like a, cr a crushed ketchup packet. Like, oh my gosh. Uh, too bad FAO Schwartz closed down in Manhattan. I would have loved to have taken you guys there. I would have absolutely loved to take it. I'd be so. That's where we would have went to. That's where we, we would have went this week. So, like a quick heads up. Majority of the days we will be here. Majority of the days we will be here. It's more convenient on my end to get here. But that does not mean we'll only be here. We will be at many different places. But for the record, we will be here most days. Because it is very easy for me to get here. It's a longer drive, but the drives are, it's like a longer distance, but the drives are, are quicker. It's very interesting. If you go to an aquarium, you need to ride the cyclone. It's next to it. I'm thinking of taking you guys to Coney Island one of these days. That is, it is extremely hard to get there. It is very far from me and where I, lo I, where I am currently located. But it doesn't mean we can't do road trip. In fact, I could turn the stream on in the car and we could like do like a road trip together. Now, I think that would be really cool. The sky's the limit. The sky's the limit this summer. And as I'm going to Disney a lot and I will be at Disney and obviously Disney is my priority. My whole channel, both channels are themed to Disney. This one's, but the thing is I'm more comfortable in my description, I made it very clear on this channel that we are taking a step away. We are taking a step away from the Disney stuff and enjoying something else, like my everyday life and whatnot. So I have no problem doing this. But really, the, the Disney is my main channel priority. And so when I'm in Disney, I do need to focus on that. But I am, I would love to bring you all to different New York spots, especially on this channel. Are you buying us all some Nathan hot dogs? Of course. Aren't they like expensive? <laughs> Aren't they like very expensive? I don't really know, but I heard they're like very expensive. For those that missed this stream, there's very, it's a very light recap. We go, we're walking around, we go over certain things about the summer plans, and we nearly get attacked by dogs. That's really all that happened today. But it was very eventful. It was fun. That's, that's the best part too. It's just fun. And I hope you all had fun with me. And I can't wait to come out here every single solitary day. Now I'm gonna know how like Pat, Pat and these other Disney streets every single day come out here. 
It's kind of cool, actually. And there we go, my friends. What time is it? We are gonna need to head home soon. Actually, not yet. It's still relative. I can't believe it. it's still relatively early. It's only 9.30. Because I did say we were gonna start at 9.05. And we ended up... And we ended up uh, going live a little earlier. You cannot go to Coney, Hi Coney Island without getting a hot dog. Amen. If you go to Coney Island and not get a hot dog, what are you doing? Although, I don't... You see, me growing up in the Disney parks... It had, I negative, as soon as I see rides, I immediately think of them negatively. As soon as I see rides and attractions, like carnival rides and stuff like that, I no longer trust carnival rides because I'm so used to Disney. I don't trust, oh, is this one safe? Or is this one this? Or is this one that? I no longer trust them because I'm so used to Disney standards. And I think that's okay because you see a lot on the news. A lot of unfortunate stuff going on with these carnival rides that are not safe. They're just not safe. Um, that they're just they're just simply not safe. And so I, I like my uh, me and my friends actually went to a carnival like a couple weeks ago, and I said no to like every single ride. And they're like, "What are you even doing here then?" And then I made a joke like, "I could be like the dad on the." could be like the dad on the side that holds everybody's phone and bags while they're on the ride like no it's all right i'll be here oh i'll be like the baggage holder on the side and like we'll do a roll call afterwards like uh phone and bag phone and bag for you phone and bag for you <laughs> so that was kind of my job that is kind of my job when it comes to going to the carnival with friends let's sit down over here that's kind of my job when it go, when it go, we're sitting down on like this, this thing. I don't even know what this thing is, but we're sitting right there. So I really don't trust. I really just don't trust it at all. They are built very quickly, and the people that are building them don't get paid very much either. So they don't really care how they're building them. I didn't see on the community page. Scroll down a little bit, Christina. Maybe, um, they were posted, like, near Easter. So you're gonna have to scroll down a good amount. And it'll be, like, question one, question two, question three. The one thing I have to get at a fair or a carnival is a blooming onion. That's cool. <laughs> one thing I like to get at the fairs is our I like those like little carnival game prizes but does everybody know the banana I'm talking about like the banana with the with the red yellow and green hat with like the like the black stringy hair those little like banana carnival prizes I love those uh did 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 not know you do giveaways I do do giveaways in fact uh Triton and Diane won um I had a premiere the same day I was drawing the giveaways so, I had to have my dad host the premiere so I could be drawing the giveaway with some friends downstairs. And when I say I have like a team helping me, it's normally my friends. My friends have access to my email account and stuff like that and they will help me respond to any emails. So some emails you receive are probably not from me because normally when I'm the one writing, I say, hey, this is, hey, whoever I'm writing this to, this is Max, they're writing to you directly. And chances are if I'm, if it doesn't say that, if it doesn't say that, I'm probably not the one writing it. And there are very few safety checks because they move so quickly. I doubt they are really checking them on their own with any sort of vigor. Absolutely. Absolutely. There's no way, no way that they're checking them safely. I would not do that. Like, it wasn't it just last week or a couple weeks ago that a recent carnival game, uh, not a carnival, a carnival ride had an issue where people were stuck upside down. It's terrible. I feel like I, I, I get anxiety j just thinking about that. Like, I would, like, never trust a, a ride ever again. And I wouldn't know why anybody would bring themselves to have to deal with that. 
Let's go on the swings, guys. We're going on the swings. I don't think I fit in these anymore. <laughs> Can you imagine me trying to fit in these things? Oh my goodness. What if I try to... Would I, how much money would somebody give me to try to fit in this thing? That would be that would be that would be a disaster. Let's go on these ones. I think these would be much easier. Alrighty, guys, we're on the swings. I noticed my tan line. I have like very tan legs, so it's like tan legs, and then once it gets over here, the tan is gone. After this, I'm trying to think of what I'm gonna do after this. So I need to run home and definitely clip that scene of me getting attacked by a dog. We're swinging, guys. We're on the swings. Actually, let me, my hair looks awful right now because I kind of just rolled out of bed to kind of get here, but here we go. We're on the swings. Only on this channel. Whoop, I'm almost falling. Here we go. And then we're gonna go up on the playground area because it's very quiet right now. Whee! Whoa! Whoa! I didn't like that. The way that jerked, I didn't like it. Whee! 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 content right here. I bet you could fit in the baby swing. I guarantee you not. Don't you have to be like very small to get in there? I'm not the smallest human being. Have you graduated high school yet? Not yet. Have not graduated high school. Like I, I still remember I met up with um I met up with, so, um, there was one friend that I had from a while ago, and we had, like, a reunion a, a little while ago, and he was like, wow, you are taller than I remembered. I'm like, thanks. <laughs> like, I look very short on camera, but, like, I'm actually, like, very, I've, I'm, like, five, like, five, eight, five, seven. It could be that I'm actually, I actually just have very short friends. It could be. And I think me, my five, eight, five, seven self trying to go in the baby swing would not go very well. Whee! Whoa. Whee! Oh. Whee! All right, let's get some momentum going here. Let me push off a little bit now. Now my legs are tired. <laughs> now my legs are tired, so that's good. I hope you all enjoyed watching that. Hope you all enjoyed watching that. Guys, I have an honest question for all of you. I'm gonna be at Disney a lot this year. A lot, a lot. So I was, it was in the back of my mind in the back I realized that it would be very difficult to do this <clears throat> but it's in the back of my mind that I cancel both Disney streams I have scheduled and do one all day stream from the parks rope drop the park close would you guys watch that all day or would it get boring after a while? And I need some honest, honest feedback. Honest feedback. I want to hear honesty. I want to say, I want to hear, Max, I would leave you on in the background all day and pop in and out of chat. Or Max, I cannot watch you for 11 hours because I cannot watch anybody for 11 hours. I would go in and out. Yes, I would watch all day. Okay. All right. We're getting somewhere. We're getting somewhere. I'm trying to think how that would go. Because that means I'm missing a day of vlogging. I'm missing a day of vlogging. And, my, and I have it in my head. I promised myself 
that my main channel would be the priority. This is my side channel. This is my, this is my, let's chill, let's hang out, let's go to, let's go to a bunch of New York parks this summer kind of channel. But when I'm in Disney, I'm, tr I, I'm trying to grow my main channel as much as possible. I'm almost to 700 subscribers. And I'm trying to get there. I want to I wanna get to 1,000. I want to start making some money. I want to grow this channel out as much as possible. I have, I have high hopes for this channel. I have some big dreams for this channel. And so when I'm in the parks, I, my main focus is that I would change my... I, like my dad would plan it and I would be involved with the planning too. And I would say, well, listen, I don't think we could do that because that would mess up this video or we need to we need to skip this to do that because of the video and stuff like that so i have some big hopes for the main channel i'm hoping we continue to grow the main channel with the disney vlogs well on the other hand it's only one video that i'm missing so instead of like a, a six day series it'd be a five day series and is that is that still not enough i think it is but would I be able to hold this camera for 11 hours? I would, I, did you contact Pete McDevitt to help you? You see, that's the thing about that. I, I, I love that people are here to support me and it's so much, like I literally get emotional. Like I literally like tear up knowing that there are people that want to help support my channel and actually enjoy what I do. But I almost feel guilty saying, hey, um, I need you to uh, talk to people about my channel. I would consider doing that, but how does it work? Like, do you just contact him? Or or does, do you need to be recognized by him? Because I know a lot of people helped push my channel out there. And I'm forever, forever, for grateful. Forever. You guys right here are really the OGs. John, Triton, Co uh, Sean, um, Christina. You guys are really the OGs of this channel. And everything I do, really. You guys are some of my first subscribers. And it's forever grateful. That's why all of you are moderators. All of you... Actually, Sean, you are not a moderator, and that's a problem. Let me make you a moderator here. Hold on. Add as a moderator. Managing moderator. Actually, no, I'm... Actually, no, hold on. Move as managing moderator. There's no longer... Wait, oh my god, I almost timed you out instead. That'd be terrible. Standard moderator. Beautiful. It's not easy. I know, and you know, all of you, all of you have been such a help in getting my main channel, and even this channel. I know this channel, I know the channel I'm streaming on right now is small, and I'm okay that it's small. I'm really okay that this channel is a smaller channel. My main channel, on the other hand, I want it to grow. I want it to really become something big, and I really want this, I want, I want it big. I want this, I want the main channel a big Disney vlog channel. And I know you always have to start from somewhere, and you have to grow it up, and I, and that is my priority, and that's what I plan on doing. I plan on never stopping to film this, and so, <clears throat> For the people that helped push my channel out there, I know Triton did, CLO, Pat, um, a bunch of other channels, uh, Sam, Sam Welb, Sam Welb, uh, Sam Welb, he's um, helped push my, all, all of you, thank you so much. Um, and it's growing. And it's growing. And so, almost got timed out, bad boy. No, it was, it was a, to should I be the kid? that walks up this slide. I would never do that. I would fall and break something. And then the stream is over. And then the summer is over, really. So we wouldn't do that. Let's sit on this bench. <clears throat> so, really, it would, really, it's so appreciated that there are people that actually enjoy what I do. <clears throat> and I hope to continue growing out this main channel. And, it, and as CLO said, it's not easy. It is not easy. Um, and so I'm going to keep doing my thing. I'm going to keep doing with my thing. I'm going to keep doing my thing. Um, and we're going to see how far we can grow this main channel out. Now, in regards to the all day stream, I have four gimbals. I'm bringing all four full batteries. I'm bringing a bunch of batteries. I'm bringing both my phones. And we're going to see what we can do here. We're going to see what we can do. Because that is, I, I can't, 
what I realized I'd need to do is I need to do a practice run. I would need <clears throat> I would need to do a practice run. I would need to do I would need to do a practice literally a practice of 11 hour stream at a New York in New York to see how it goes to see how we do like really I would come out here I would go I would see how many parks can we go to in one day we can go here Astoria Park a Brooklyn Park a Manhattan Park a Queens Park or whatever we can go to a zoo we could do everything we could do everything um, and I'd have to do a test run in New York in the comfort of where I'm from to see if this would go well and if you guys watch I would do it I would do it I really would we would go crazy um, I would actually wish I would do it on the main channel because my main channel has a ton of like people that show up to the premieres and stuff like that and I know